but the big dreams and the positive things we want to create, they take a little more time. And so it's really about training your brain to consistently go back to the positive, even though we see nothing but negative around us or negative thoughts flowing through our head. We do need to wake up in a good way, in, in a different way, not, not woke like we got to uh, put together all these policies that make no sense just because, I mean, look at Disney. Disney's getting killed right now. Their stock price, their uh, their market share, I think uh, $200 uh, billion they're down on their, uh, their market share uh, because they just went the wrong direction. But I think people need to wake up when it comes to number one, you got to, you got to, you got to know what you believe in. Uh, like you said, we got to become authentic to what we believe. Even though I know that people will criticize me if I put stuff online, if I you know, tell my true beliefs online, I know I'm going to get criticized. I'm criticized all the time. And that's okay with me because what I do know is there's a lot of people that believe in what I believe too. There's a lot of people that they resonate, they go, wait, wait, wait. I didn't know Daniel thought like that. Okay, I like him a little bit better because he thinks like this. And uh, and I want people to see the the manipulation that's going on with uh, mainstream media. The mainstream media, they are uh, they're hurting people. It's 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 lies. It's BS. And if we don't wake up and start, you know, voting correctly. I think, you know, it's kind of scary to me to what's happening. I, I just watched this movie and shoot, I can't remember the name of it, but it just came on Netflix. But th there's this movie. It's, it's, uh, Leave the uh, World Behind. Yes. Yes. Julia Roberts. Did you watch yes. that? Yes, I did. I mean, this is it right here. I mean, this, what a great movie that spells out exactly what the, the, the government and this whole one world order. I believe that they're trying to really like break apart America, like really create this division amongst America because America is divided 50 50 right now. Like what happens? You know, they're, they're trying to take Trump off the ballot. And then so now DeSantis is like, hey, you know, I want to uh, you know, we need to start taking Biden off the ballot. So what what happens if like, you know, you got all these states that take Biden off the ballot. You got all these states that take Trump off. The, I mean, this this could be pretty. Uh, I don't know. Like, do, do we get to a civil war or something like that? Yeah, I think that everything that unfolds in life leads us to new beginnings. And so, I have faith that more people than led on are waking up to the lies of society. They're not all being vocal about the fact that they notice it. But like you said, a lot of people agree with what we are, what we believe in. Now it's going to lead to a shift in how we live. And so the pushing of vaccines, the um, COVID breakouts, the world war scare, I think it's going to push us as a society as a whole towards more organic living, towards more farm life, towards more authentic connection, because it's it we have nowhere else to go but there, right? When things kind of blow up, it leaves an open room for a new beginning. And I think that it's the new beginning we all need, but we can't all see the light at the end of the tunnel. I happen to be able to see it because I have faith. I just know everything done in dark comes to light and it all leads to fresh beginnings. And so whatever's about to unfold, it's meant to happen. It's frustrating to go through and to witness it. And um, we all kind of want to help in some way, at least the leaders do. But sometimes it really is out of our hands. It's things that have to unfold to push us into new directions. So you're, you're like a law of attraction person. Like you believe in law of attraction and frequencies and vibration and energy. Do you believe in yeah. all that stuff? Yeah, and it's hard because I'm also a Christian and not a lot of Christians like to talk about those kinds of things. Um, so yes, I 100% believe in energy and balance, um, law of attraction. And I've noticed that we tend to attract the negative so much quicker than the positive, than the big dreams. The negative things that go through our mind manifest overnight sometimes. But the big dreams and the positive things we want to create, they take a little more time. And so it's really about training your brain to consistently go back to the positive, even though we see nothing but negative around us or negative thoughts flowing through our head. Discipline well, it's, your brain. It, it's kind of like the, uh, you know, like looking for the silver lining. I try to, I, for me personally, I try to look for the silver lining 
in every bad situation, I, I try to say, okay, what can I get good at? This? I mean, look, I, I'm the guy that gets up. Great things always happen to me, right? It, it, today's going to be a great day. It's going to be an awesome, amazing, incredible day. I, like that's like, that's my mindset. And I feel like now, of course, every day is not perfect. I still got a flat tire the other day. Uh, you know, shit happens. I mean, my life's not perfect. I've been through, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, relationship issues and all that kind of stuff, everything. But the truth is I still get up yeah. and I still say great things always happen to me. And today's going to be an amazing day because there, what's my alternative? What, right. what I'm going to, I'm going to sink into a black hole and feel sour, sorry for myself all day. I mean, what, what are you going to do? You just got to get up. You got to keep fighting. And you got to keep moving forward. Absolutely. And we have to continuously train our brain to, to weigh more on the positive side. I too, I used to always be positive so much so that people thought I was crazy. And it wasn't until I got older and bad things started happening in my life that I turned more on the negative side. And so now, even though I'm positive, negative things still go through my head, fears, worries. I literally was crying earlier this morning because I felt all this worry and stress and fear. And I had to open up the Bible and remind myself, what do I believe in? Who's here to protect me, right? And that just pulls the fear away, pulls the worry away and gets my mind back on the positive side. So yeah, consistency and positivity compounds into miracles. So what's what's something that has happened to you like that's been emotionally challenging in your life? Like what's one of the biggest challenging situations through and how did you overcome it? Um, I think it was when my mom passed away. That's probably been the biggest one. And I'm still going through the motions. It's been over a decade. As weird as that sounds, I'm still like healing from it and releasing the pain of that. And then I lost my dog recently to cancer. So that pulled out a lot of emotions from losing my mom to cancer. And I felt like I had to go through that experience again to continue purging the negativity I was feeling about my mom, you know? Um, and then before my dog passed away, we had a house fire. And so it was one thing after another, I felt like was just really hitting me hard. And I had to take a step back and remind myself that these things unfold to push us in new directions, to teach us new lessons, to help us purge the negativity we have inside or the sadness we're holding on to. Um, when you lose everything, you realize those things really didn't matter. The things you're working to attain have no value. It's about what you're learning inside on the process. And that sounds corny, but it's so true. So what, what do you think? Uh, and, and I, and I get it. I totally get it because um, it's just a mindset game. My, my second book I'm almost finished with, I'm actually finished with it. I'm just putting on all the, you know, crossing the T's and dotting the I's, uh, but it's um, how to have a badass mindset, like the wealthy. And it's just all about mindset. It's 11 principles of mindset, like gratitude and resilience and focus and clarity and things like that. And so, but it, it, it's, it's amazing to me. And, and this book is a little bit different in the sense that I, I, I take a look at a lot of really successful people. I take a look at their lives and how did they apply it? You know, uh, you know, soccer players and tennis players and, and, um, you know, business moguls and even, uh, people that just started small businesses that became that became really, really successful. And I, I think that that it always comes down to that mindset, right? It, it's 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 just the decision. And and hopefully people that are listening right now or watching, hopefully, because I look, we're all going through shit. I promise you, right? I don't care how good somebody looks on their Instagram and how good we brand them. We, you know, and and we 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 set up the the beautiful website. Everybody is going through stuff and challenges and turmoil and fears and uncertainty. And, uh, and I just want you to know that, that it's okay. And you're normal. Yes. Right? It's, it's normal. Can, can you speak yes. to that? Amen. It's so interesting. Cause, um, I was on the phone with my father last night and he tends to be really negative. And I was telling him about all my big dreams and goals and my app idea. And he kind of tries to knock me down a little bit with his reality. Um, and I had to remind him, anybody that's done big things has been pounded by failure. And one thing he said to me was, 
you said 10 years ago you were going to make it. Look at you now. And I said, Dad, but 10 years ago, I'm light years from where I was 10 years ago. And the fact of the matter is I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to stop. That Anybody who's gotten to big places has hit failure, has hit roadblocks, has hit uncertainty, the fear, the tears, all of it. And they keep going despite that. That is what true faith really is. It's knowing no matter what I'm going through in this moment, God has promised me the visions he's given to me in my head. And it is my job to continue walking towards it no matter what gets in my way. And that's faith. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here. If you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.